Hi, in this video, we'll be importing data from Google Sheets into Microsoft SQL Server using Synatic. The first thing we're going to do is add a flow. A flow is like a function or a small program in Synatic. We can give it a name and save it. Now we can show our steps and look for our Google Sheets step and drag it from our source uh, draw. We can create a connection to it, let's give it a name, and we can log on to Google to get an authentication token for Synatic. Click the link. Google will come up with an OAuth dialog where you can review the permissions that Synatic wants, and if you're happy, you can click Allow. And we are successfully connected, so we can close that. And we should get an OK, and there we go, we are now connected. And now we can put in our spreadsheet ID, which is really just the URL of the spreadsheet. So we can paste in our URL of our doc spreadsheet. And we just need to check that the sheet names are the same on Synatic and Google. And we can save. Now we can test up to this point just to see that our connection works and we can read the data. So let's hit test. And we can see we've got some data in Synatic. And if we look in Google Sheets, it's the same data. So all good up to this point. Now we need to add our destination, and we're going to use SQL, so we search for SQL, and we drag it out of the destinations draw, and drop it on to the workflow. We can uh, choose or create a connection to SQL here, and we also just need to put in the, the table name, which is sensor data in this case. And now we can set up the column mappings. The column mappings are just uh, to map uh, the columns from Google Sheets to SQL. In our case, they're the same in, in, both, in both places, so it's pretty straightforward. But if they are different, you can set them up here. Let's add that, and let's do all the rest quickly. Okay, it's all looking good. Let's save that step, and we can test up to here again. Let's hit test. We can still see our data, so it's all looking good. Now let's run for real. So we'll hit Execute Flow and create a new run. It's completed successfully, and let's check in our database. And all our records are there. And that's how quick it can be to set up a Google to SQL integration using Synatic.